Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I wanted to discuss Avatar The Last Airbender, and specifically, the brand new Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra RPG tabletop game made by Magpie Games that has been on Kickstarter for about a week now. This is one of the biggest Avatar projects in recent memory, and the amount of money that people have put into backing this project shows that in strides. And I wanted to discuss it because I think it's a really good indicator of what the future of Avatar might be. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. It's been a little while since I've done an Avatar The Last Airbender video, but I wanted to do one now because this project is really awesome to me. Now, for those of you who have not heard of it, Magpie Games is a RPG company, a game company. They produce tabletop RPGs of various different books and shows, and Avatar is probably their biggest project to date. They are partnered with Viacom CBS, which is the company that owns Nickelodeon and subsequently owns Avatar The Last Airbender. So they are working closely to make this project as close to canon as possible. And that's one of the most interesting things about the project is that it is going to have brand new canon information about the world of Avatar. Some of the things that you're going to receive if you choose to back this project is the core book, which is all of the way to play the game, all of the lore information, all of the information about different character stats and how you're able to work with others to build your adventures and go on these quests with your friends. It's a tabletop RPG. If you've ever played a game like Dungeons and Dragons or something like that, it is that vein of you're imagining a story, you're doing this with friends, and you're kind of building this adventure as you go along with stat sheets, with people running the game, a game master, things of that nature. Some of the perks that you're going to receive if you back the product are also really cool. There's a cloth map of the four nations from the world of Avatar. There's special dice and special journals for you to keep track of your games. There are special booklets which give you a pre-made adventure to go on, give you a starting basis for what you're going to be doing, and then you can build on it from there. There's a bunch of different tiers. There's a $20 tier if you just want the digital stuff. There's a $50 tier for the core book. There's a $75 tier which gets you that core book and gets you every single physical reward that this project is going to be giving away. And then there's the $100 tier, which is probably the most expensive basic tier, which gets you everything that the $75 tier had, as well as a special edition of the core book with full arts of Aang and Korra on either side. And the cool thing about this project is you're going to be able to pick who you want on the front cover of this book and who you want on the back. So if you're a Legend of Korra fan and you want to see the Korra art on the front, you're going to be able to do that. And if you want Aang on the front, you're going to be able to tell them to do that as well. Now, the project's going to end on Kickstarter September 2nd, and you'll only be charged if the project actually gets completed by then, but it's already been fully backed. The original goal for the project was $50,000. It is currently sitting at, with still 20, 22, 21 days to go, $4 million raised, 4300000 at the time of this recording. They've hit the 4 million in just a week, and they've basically said, we hit all of our stretch goals that we had originally planned, but there's going to be more coming. So as the game continues to grow and continues to get more backing, there's probably going to be more physical rewards than what is already here. And as I have said, I will leave a link down in the description below to the Kickstarter project if you want to check it out. I have personally backed it at the $100 tier because I'm an Avatar collector. I love collecting all of the merch and books and everything that the franchise puts out. So having a physical hardcover rule book that is special edition with these designs and some laminate on it is really cool to me. And I think it's going to be a fun little piece that'll eventually get to go in my collection. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that a lot of you guys who are watching this video and hopefully, you know, enjoying it, aren't subscribed to the channel now. Subscribing is free, you can unsubscribe at any time, and the red button is right below this video. So if you are not subscribed and you are enjoying this video or any of my other videos that I put out, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that button and join the community. Now, for those of you who have not played a tabletop RPG before, which includes me, I would really recommend going to Magpie Games' website, which is linked on their Kickstarter. They've put up a full online digital version of the rulebook for this game, and you're going to be able to take a look at it, see how the gameplay is. It's, it's something that is actually quite appealing for Avatar as a franchise, just because of how much story and lore and history exists in the Avatar universe. And to be able to create your own stories and go on your own adventures with friends with this world as the backdrop is going to be really fun. 
And as they've laid out with the project, it's not just that you're going to be able to play in Avatar Aang's world. There are different eras in which you're going to be able to set your stories in. Some of the eras that they mention are Avatar Kyoshi's era, Avatar Roku's era, which is right before the Hundred Year War. You're going to be able to play in the Hundred Year War era without an Avatar present. Aang's era, obviously, and then Korra's era, and into the future. So you're going to be able to play at almost any of the points in time that we've learned about from the Avatar world, except for Wan's era, which, as they've said, they do have plans to continue to grow the game as years come along. So we could see some expansion into Avatar Wan's era, which was highlighted in The Legend of Korra. We could eventually see them take over some eras that we see in eventual future Avatar Studios projects which is one of the biggest benefits that this project is going to have. The creators who are all linked here, you can take a look at everybody who's involved in this project, have said that they are working closely with Avatar Studios, which is Mike and Brian and their entire team, to make sure that all of the information in this game is canon and that there's going to be some new information about different eras that we don't have a ton of information for yet. Specifically, Avatar Roku's era and the Hundred Year War era, we don't know that much about. We know the broad strokes of these time periods. We understand that during the Hundred Year War era, Fire Lord Ozai was able to continue to expand the reach of the Fire Nation and take over more of the world, eventually to the point where Aang had to stop him once the comet arrived. But we don't really know a ton of names of different generals, of different people who were important during this time. The core book, which is, like I mentioned before, gonna have 50 pages of world building information in it, is probably going to do a ton to expand our understanding of the Avatar world and eventually give us more information on all of these eras. That's, in my opinion, probably the most exciting thing about this project is that I think it's our first look into how Avatar Studios is going to change this franchise. We now have a power base, which is Avatar Studios, to base all of our stories and all of our new information for any project that Avatar decides to do, and that Avatar Legends, which is the brand that this RPG is under, is going to be facilitated with. We're gonna be able to learn so much new canon information from different stories, from different movies, from different TV shows and different animated projects that Avatar Studios does, and from side projects like this. This is a game that is going to be supported for years to come. Magpie Games have already said that once the, of the first version of the game comes out, there's eventually going to be a Republic City edition of the game that comes out with new information, new stories, new characters to be able to embark on journey with. So this is going to be a project that they're in for the long haul. Now, as I have mentioned before with some of the when this project ends, it ends September 2nd, but we're going to start getting things from this project starting in January. So January of next year, digital stuff is going to be released to the public. So if you purchased any of the packages from $20 up, you're going to get all of the digital PDFs, the digital rule book, all of that. And then February of next year, we're going to get all of the physical rewards. So the official core book, the mat, the dice, the different booklets, the different character pages, all of that. Now, the one thing that I want to mention here is I'm not going to go into specifically, you know, what the rules of this game are. This is more of a discussion of what the potential of this game has for us. If you're interested in the rules, like I said before, everything is on the Kickstarter page and on Magpie Games' website. All of the different ways you're going to be able to create character stat sheets for your different characters that you go in with, uh, how you're going to be able to interact with legend characters, characters from the show and from the comics and the books that you're going to be able to learn different skills from. All of that is on the website and it is very easily understandable and it's laid out well for everyone. So if you're interested in the intricacies of what this game is going to be actually played like, that is all there as well. But I think that it's really cool that we are seeing Avatar utilized in such a way. There's a lot of things about this page that really tell us that there's a lot of behind the scenes work happening. There's a lot of new art on this Kickstarter page that looks to be brand new official stock art from Avatar Studios. If you've been in the fandom for a long time, you'll know that there's a lot of old stock art, one from back when the original show was airing, and a lot of Korra stock art from when that show was coming out in 2012 to 2014, but there's a lot of new art here that looks brand new. And that's a small detail, but it, it tells you that ever since Avatar Studios was originally announced back in February, which I did a video on back then, if you want to see it, I will link a card in the corner right now, you can go check that out but they're doing a lot of work behind the scenes, regardless of when we're seeing movies and shows start to, you know, come up and we're gonna start to get details about them. But I think this is a really cool thing and I would love to know what you guys think. Of course, 
Avatar is not the main focus on this channel. I mainly focus on Nintendo and Pokemon content, but Avatar is a topic that I'm honestly the most passionate about of any of my any of my interests, whether it's gaming, whether it's Pokemon. This is what I'm most passionate about. So if you guys want to see more Avatar videos in the future discussing this or any other story news, I would love to do them. Just let me know down in the comments. With that being said, if you are not subscribed to the channel, like I mentioned before, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It does a ton to show me that you guys are enjoying these videos and leave a like as well if you enjoyed the topic. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.